Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Florida Real Estate with Ellen. And I have definitely covered a lot of real estate this morning. It is 2.30 in the morning and technically 3.30 because it was daylight savings time. Get out of the car and just do a little walk around. A few people are arriving this early. A lot of people stayed overnight at nearby hotels, but I didn't do that, chose not to do that. I'm so you may notice, or maybe you won't, uh, that my hair's a little shorter since my last video because I was here during packet pickup yesterday and it was so hot. And I saw a number of women who were in their runner's haircut, so I just stopped at great clips on my way and went ahead and chopped the rest of it off. Because this is the first time I'm going to be in the 70-year-old age group and I actually have a slight chance of placing. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I'll, I'll stay positive about it, and I'm not really very well trained at all for this and we'll just see how it goes but you can see we are in the furthermost as far as you can be away from the main event which is down there I am not going to walk all the way down there just yet because I'm going to try and actually get some sleep and good morning all right so I think I will leave it for there and we will pick it up in the next segment Hi everyone, just thought I'd check in after the Skyway 10K. I would have recorded something at the race, but there's all this noise and background music. And if YouTube picks up on that, then they flag your video. So here I am back at home with this amazing, beautiful, the fifth medal that I've gotten from doing my fifth Skyway 10K. That's 6.2 miles up this incredibly long bridge. You know, I've been saying it's two miles up, two miles down and a mile on either side to get there. But this morning I was corrected. It's three miles, actually about two and a half to the start of the big hill. However, <laughs> um, there's a pretty significant hill to get to that point. And there's a really significant hill after you've come down on the other side and the last mile to the finish line is, it felt just equally hard on my quads and my glutes as I came in. But the good news is I just moved up into the new 70 to 74 year old age group and I got seventh out of 125 in the 70 to 74 year age group just on class. So yes, wore that shirt to the start line, but took it off and just ran in my sports bra with my number like that because it was so hot. Although it was a gorgeous morning, I cannot complain. There was no red tide and a couple of people took pictures for me. I posted that on my other social media platforms. So uh, we'll try and include them here as well. But it was incredibly well-run well race, 8,000 people, very well organized as it always is. And just breathtaking at the top of the bridge as the sun was just starting to come up. It was really incredible. And I wasn't sure because of the time change that I would be able to see it. Uh, but, you know, there's different um, corrals or waves, as they call them, that you can start with. And I had chosen the first wave because I really wanted to do this for time because I thought I had a pretty good chance of placing. But like many people, I got bumped back to the the second wave. And then there were like little sub waves as we started. So it was almost uh, about 30 minutes late or so. I mean, late. It's all relative. And really, I just, they did an incredible job getting 8,000 people across the bridge, which they closed at technically um, 3.30, but it was 2.30 because of the time change. So I had to get up at 1.30 to make sure I made it to the bridge in time, which was 30 minutes away. So the bridge I had to cross was the bridge that that we actually ran over. So uh, again, you can see I was supposed, I, I actually was in the B group and uh 5.30 was the time to start getting on the bus. And I kind of took my time getting on the bus. Uh, I mean, I was right in the line at 5.30, but it was so long. And I think this year, because they had so many people, the lines were a little bit longer and it just took longer to get to the start line, which was at the beginning of the bridge. You have to climb up this hill. And yes, they had porta potties and water. Um, although the water you had to kind of like stick your mouth under. So I didn't do that, but they had drinking fountains along the route. And I did that twice. Uh, if I hadn't stopped, maybe I would have been faster or not. Uh, and the, the drinking fountains, you just squeeze them and all this water kind of shoots everywhere. And uh, it was very much appreciated because it was uh, out of the five different Skyway races I've done. This one, I think, was the warmest and and the most humid. So but just a delightful run. And if you ever have a chance to do it, I met people from all over the world, ran with a woman who was taking pictures of the sunrise. And I asked her for that when we finished. And uh, turns out she was from Key West. And actually, because uh, I went to friend her on Facebook and she's like friends with one of my best friends from high school who lives in Miami. So how crazy is that? It's such a small world sometimes. 
or the six degrees of separation. But I just love competing in this race. And, you know, coming in seventh, I felt very good, especially since, as I shared on my Facebook page, I was coming off of day four, being on a one week course of very strong antibiotics um, that really have upset my stomach, even though I'm taking probiotics. And uh, a, a tetanus shot into my arm, I just took the band aid off um, yesterday from this cat bite. And that is what is left of the cat bite. And that's another story that I probably won't go into other than to say we just had some visitors who uh, brought in their cat and our cat did not react, take kindly to that because cats are very territorial. And it's a story I won't get into other than to say the, I went to the doctor because I didn't think I should, but uh, because it looked pretty, it looked, this is, where are we? Today is Sunday. This happened Wednesday, um, maybe Tuesday. That's right. Because I didn't go to the doctor until Thursday. I thought that you know, this is just a cat bite, but actually as it turns out cat bites are much worse than dog bites because they, they carry more risk of bacterial infection. And that's why they wanted to put me on antibiotics because it was really nasty looking. What I showed you was nothing, but it's still painful. All of this was a distraction in the race and I might've done better. I don't know. Um, but I actually had my pace time on my wrist. You can't really see that, but I was trying to keep a, what was it? A, a 10 minute pace to get first. That was sort of my goal, but didn't happen. Oh, well, there's always next year. And really most people don't do this race for the competition. It's just, it's, and I should say that the military, uh, the, the proceeds go to military families. And last year, you may recall that there was a Florida state trooper who put herself in harm's way to stop a drunk driver from ramming the start line. Uh, fortunately, nothing like that happened uh, this year. And, um, she was actually at the race this year. I didn't see her. It was part of the opening ceremonies, I guess. And I was already on the bus. So it's just uh, amazing that this race happens and that it's so well organized. And I think part of me feels like maybe they do this just to make sure that the military is in top shape for protecting our nation's resources and monuments. And the Skyway Bridge is, is one of those. I was actually researching, as I always do, these things. And one of the things I found is that it is the longest... Uh, cable span bridge in the world. So it's connected by cables. And I sat next to a guy who said that his brother actually inspects those cables. And when he does that, he has to put his initials on the inside of the span uh, to show that it was inspected. So the things you learn <laughs> doing all this. All right, everyone, hope you found that interesting. And if you want to file, follow, uh, and I got to say, I've only had like three hours sleep, if that, and you can't sleep in the car once you get to the parking lot, because that's what you have, you have to stay in your car after, well, you have to stay at the site after you cross the Skyway and then get to the site and wait for your bus, which doesn't go uh, until 5.30. So I was there for like, I don't know, three hours <laughs> trying to nap and it just doesn't happen. But if you want to file follow my different uh, crazy racing antics, because behind me is 270 where are we now? It's 278 five care longer age group awards since 2006. And of course the Skyway, I got seventh. I would have had to place in the top three to officially count it as placing. So it's not in the totals today, but I actually got fourth one year. So probably the year I turned 65 and was still pretty fast. So I guess I have to wait now until I'm 75 to have another chance at this. All right, everyone. Hope you'll like and subscribe and don't forget to smash that notification button if you want to find out uh, what I'm up to in my next race or my next real estate escapades because I truly did cover a lot of real estate. Oh my gosh, today we had a three hour drive detour drive on the way home. There were two, well, the Skyway was still closed. And then uh, I-75, which is the main north-south artery, just did all this red. Apparently there was some accident there. So we had to go US-41 all the way home, which was like all stoplights. But at least there are ways to get around. And it was great mileage for my Prius. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Gotta run.